Today, we will learn about solar eclipse. Imagine you are standing somewhere in the middle of the day and suddenly it gets dark. You think, where are the lights? After a while, you see the sun again and everything is back as it was. This was a solar eclipse. The word eclipse is taken from the Greek word eclipses that means downfall or abandonment. An eclipse happens when a volume or an object in the space blocks an observer from seeing another thing object in the space. From our Earth, there are two kinds of eclipses. First, solar eclipses, and second, lunar eclipses. Solar eclipse happens when the moon comes in front of the sun and thus causing a shadow to fall on some parts of our Earth. In other words, a solar eclipse is when a line occurs between the sun, the moon, and our Earth. The moon covers or blocks a part of the sun's light and it creates a large shadow on the Earth. This eclipse is not visible from every place of Earth, but it is visible only from the locations in our Earth where the shadow falls. From these parts or locations of Earth, it appears as if the sun has vanished and gone dark. The shadow created on our Earth by the Moon at the time of solar eclipse is broken down into three parts. First one is called the Umbra, second one is Ant's Umbra, and third one is Penumbra. Now let's study about Umbra. The Umbra is part of the Moon's shadow where the Moon fully covers the Sun. Sun is not visible in this. Now comes the Ant Umbra. It is the area of the shadow, that is, beyond the point of Umbra. In this, the moon is fully in front of the sun, but it doesn't cover the total part of the sun. The outline of sun can be seen around the shadow of the moon. Now, Penumbra. It's the area of the shadow where only a small portion of the moon is in front of the sun. Let's do a simple experiment to understand the solar eclipse better. Take two balls. Let's consider the bigger one as our Earth and the smaller one as Moon. Now hold the balls like this. Now light up the torch. Consider the torch as Sun. Here is the solar eclipse. Now it's easy to remember that in solar eclipse, the Moon covers or blocks a part of the Sun's light and it creates a large shadow on the Earth. Now you know a lot of solar eclipse. There is one important thing to remember. We should not look directly with open eyes at the solar eclipses. Even though it looks dark, the harmful rays of the sun can affect your eyes. That's why never ever try looking at an eclipse without proper eye protection. Some cool facts about solar eclipse. There are between 2 to 5 eclipses in any given year. The longest total solar eclipse was about 7.5 minutes. We cannot see total solar eclipses from the North and South Poles. Total solar eclipses occurs on average of one and a half years. Hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more fun videos. Thanks for watching.